So in the last um, lecture, you really learned about why it's important to have your book be more than just a, you know, just a bunch of words, okay? You want to be seen as that go-to guru, and you do that by putting in those steps that I shared with you, because when you do that, you set yourself apart, right? You know, the results and understanding the problem, issue, and creating those profiles. And you're speaking directly to people. So now that you've done all of that, you want to write your headline, because now you know the person, you know the problem, and you know the outcome that they're looking for. So person plus problem plus outcome. That is your headline formula, right? So how did a heart-centered entrepreneur with a dwindling bank account achieve true financial freedom in five easy steps? Okay, so... You can see how this connects with the people, heart-centered entrepreneurs, their problem, a dwindling bank account, the outcome or the result that they want, achieve true financial freedom in five easy steps. Now, that's the system that you're going to give them. So, yeah, it just becomes so much easier because when people read the title of your book, they should be raising their hand, right? They should be saying, yes, that's me. That's exactly what I need to know right now. Okay, I missed that the too. But that's exactly what I need to know right now, all right? And that's what you want. So now you're going to create your solution provider series. And yeah, it's just simple, right? Because you're bringing in all of the aspects and you're providing solutions. Now think, right, when solution provider series, think CSI, chunk, simple, implement. Okay, that, so that's the formula for the solution provider series, chunk, simple, implement. So the solution provider series are daily doses that ease pain. Because, yeah, I mean, your book might be consumed by a reader in one sitting, or they might pick it up chapter by chapter. And what you want to do is really connect with them and know what that pain is. Okay, so that's that's what you're doing here. And, and you're providing daily doses. And remember that template, right, that we looked at. So each of those, you know, 10 results that they're getting in the 10 pain points, what you're doing is you're breaking that down, okay? So if they want this solution, okay, then this is how they can get to it. And it's just simple. Just chunk it. People don't have time and they just want things simplified, okay? So you're going to start with the headline, this is the formula that you're going to um, you're going to follow. You're going to start with the headline. You're going to give an introduction, right? What's in it for me, not you, but them. And then you're going to use main keywords as subtitle and give three to five keys, steps, formula, strategy, tips, and method. Again, refer back to that template that I had given you in um, in the beginning of this section. And then you're going to end with an assignment so they can apply what they've learned. And then you're going to share in their success, right? So let's look at that. So how did a heart-centered entrepreneur with a dwindling bank account achieve true financial freedom using this simple system? So what's in it for me? Well, in this book or in this chapter, you will learn the five-step heart-centered entrepreneur formula that you can start using today to begin achieving true financial freedom. So you're going to include a subtitle with your main keyword, all right? Think chunk, simple, implement. Okay, so financial freedom formula, step number one, and then break it down. Step number two, step number three, Step number four and step number five, okay? Three to five keys, yeah, make it really, really simple. And then now you're going to teach, tutor, mentor, guide, lead them by example for each step. So if you want to know what's contained in there, right, just go back to the last lecture and 
Yeah, so financial freedom formula step number one. Now you're going to make it actionable, doable, and implementable, right? You're going to teach, tutor, mentor, guide, lead by example for each step. So all of a sudden, now you have all of your paragraphs, right? All of your paragraphs for that chapter. So you see how easy it is? And you're going to be giving them information that's going to connect with all different learning styles, right? Because there, there's all different learning styles out there and you want to be able to teach them and connect with them and give them lots of examples. And that way it really becomes valuable. It's, it's no more work for you, right? It's the same information. It's just presented in different ways. So then you want to close with an opportunity for implementing what they've just learned. So after each chapter, give them a detailed assignment. Give them a skill builder using the steps, tips, or techniques you showed them. Ask them to come back and share their results with your social media community. Okay, so all of a sudden you've turned a reader, all right, that you don't know, you don't have any information about them, all of a sudden now, you're giving them this assignment and you're telling them, you know what, I'm interested, right? To, I'm going to answer your questions. I'm here for you. So ask them to come back by providing them with a link to, you know, your Facebook um, group or um, Facebook fan page or your website. So finally, remind them about chapter two of the book that they don't want to miss because it will, and then give them the next, what's in it for me. So again, follow this closing, right, for each chapter, because it's so powerful. And it really does show the reader that you care, that they actually learn from the information, right? That they, that you care about them getting their problem or issue resolved. And when you do that, you don't even have to sell, Okay, so, you know, if you've got, if you're just using your book as a marketing tool to get them enrolled in, you know, either your courses or your membership site or your group coaching program, what have you, you don't have to sell, right? They're going to willingly become a part of your community.